Hey guys, we're back with another video because we've got an exciting box that came into the lab today. Every time FedEx comes in, it sends a special tingle down our spine, especially when it's uh, FedEx Express. I know what's inside, but we'll keep it. Well, you guys probably read the title, so you probably know it too by now. But let's just see. I can tell you we've got, I don't know, 20 some thousand dollars of goodies in here. But let's just see what we've got. All right, this is a box from our friends at AMD. And we reached out recently because we've got a number of projects we're working on, some of which we've discussed on the videos with AMD. So we've got uh, the Lenovo SR635. It came with sort of a mid-bin mid CPU because that's what uh, Lenovo had available and we'd rather take the server than wait for them to go source the high-end CPU. Now that one, if you recall, is a single CPU one U box that we're going to put a bunch of PCIe Gen 4 storage in eventually and get some really cool results, maybe the fastest storage results out of a one U box to date. To get us there, we wanted to update our AMD CPU supply. Now these trays come in pretty well packed, a lot of bubble wrap, FedEx box that handles it well, but being strapped into the trays is really what's important here. Let's go ahead and cut these open. And yeah, these are uh, pretty serious straps and a pretty dull blade. I've been opening too many boxes lately. Good problem to have. So we'll get this off. And we know we've got four of them in here. And here we go. Our nice set of AMD Epics. Now, each one is addressed for a little bit different need. We know we've got a couple here that uh, are going to immediately go into work in the Lenovo box. So this one here is the brand new 7662. This was launched February 19th, I believe. We've got two of them here. And the reason we've got two is AMD splits their, their modeling up in the P and non-P. So 7662 is for the dual proc systems. You'll take two of these and put them in a dual proc system, no problem. You can also use just one of them in a single proc system. So hold on to that thought for a second. The 7502P, this fellow here, the P means it's designed for a single proc system. So we can use this one only in single proc systems. So this is a, um, a nice one, we, uh, a 32 core one we'll use as well. And then the last guy in this tray is a 7702. And we got some uh, 7702 at launch, uh, but we just had one. So this one will be able to pair up with that one and let us put it in. Uh, dual processor systems. So that's all cool. Let's go back to this guy though, because this is the showpiece. And really what we're excited about this one is it's spec almost identical to the 7702. Uh, their base frequency is both uh, at two gigahertz. They're both uh, 64 cores. They su support 128 lanes. The biggest difference is that the power envelope for the 7662 is just a little bit greater. It's 25 watts greater. So 225 versus 200 on the uh, 7702. And what that means is we can get higher sustained burst frequencies, uh, which in this case goes to 3.3 gigahertz. So we'll be able to put all of these to work in our variety of AMD based servers, starting with that Lenovo SR635. So we're gonna put these to work, continue to update that system so that it's top of the line all the way across. We do have another box upstairs. We're gonna to get to that a little bit later. Uh, preview, it's the new PCIe Gen 4 backplane that we're gonna drop in the front of that server. So we, now we've got the server, we've got the high-speed backplane for next-gen storage, we've got the CPUs we're after. We just need one thing, and we'll be back soon to update you on that.